Hey guys, welcome back to 11.8. This is going to be a probably two-dayer lesson. Um, so we're going to talk about using elimination, the other method for solving systems of equations. So again, this is review stuff, and the ones I'm doing in the video are just like the ones on your homework, so make sure you follow along. Pretty sure I'm doing it evens, you'll do the odds, that sort of thing again. So in elimination, as the title sounds, you're trying to eliminate a variable. So our goal is to eliminate one variable to start with. Okay, And so what we're going to be doing is adding our two functions. But you got to look, is there a variable that would cancel out or eliminate? If you look here at the x's, you have a 4x and a negative 4x. Well, 4x plus negative 4x would be 0x, right? So if you add these two equations, these cancel out. They eliminate. So we just eliminated one variable. So you got 8y plus 2y. So we're still adding. So 8y plus 2y gets you 10y. And 20 plus negative 30, so it's like 20 minus 30, would be negative 10. Now you gotta solve for y. So divide by 10, y gets you negative one. Just like yesterday though, you need to find your x. So what I'm gonna do is now you have to plug it back in. Plug it back in. So I'm gonna choose equation one, which was four x plus eight y equals 20. Let's solve, let's solve for x. So we got to plug this in for y. So you got 4x plus 8 times negative 1 equals 20. Well, you got 4x here plus 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 equals 20. So we got to get this term by itself right here. So we got to get rid of a minus 8. So let's add 8 over. So 4x equals, that cancels out, 20 plus 8 is 28. Now we got to get x by itself, so let's just divide by 4. x equals 7. And now we have our x and our y, so we write our final answer as an ordered pair. x goes first, so it would be 7, comma, negative 1. And that would be our answer. Okay. Do another one. Again, our goal is to add our equations, but we got to make sure first that th that a variable would eliminate itself. If you look here, they would eliminate. So let's just add our functions. So negative six x plus six x they cancel out. You get five y plus four y, which is nine y, and you get one plus negative ten. So one plus negative ten is the same as one minus ten. So you get negative 9, so we got to solve for y, so we got to divide by 9, y would equal negative 1. So there's half to battle again. Now we got to plug it in to solve. So we're going to plug it in, I'm going to do equation 1 again. So equation 1 was negative 6x plus 5y equals 1. Where I see y, I'm going to plug in negative 1. So I got negative 6x plus 5 times negative 1 equals 1. So you got negative 6x plus 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. So again, we got to get the x term by itself. So we got to get rid of a minus 5, so we add 5. So negative 6x equals 6. Let's solve for x. We gotta divide by negative six because that's what's attached to the x. So x equals negative one. So now we gotta write our final answer as an ordered pair. X goes first, negative one, comma, negative one. And there you have it. So you'll have two of these just like this where right away they'll eliminate. And then, well, let's look here. If you look, we, we, we want to eliminate a variable, 
But if you look, this is a positive 1y and a positive 1y. So if you added these, they wouldn't cancel out. It'd be 1 plus 1, which is 2y. So there's a couple things we could do. First, we can multiply an entire equation by a negative 1. And that's what we're going to do. So let's multiply this entire equation. I like to do the bottom one, but whichever way it would work. We're going to times everything by negative 1. So if you times negative 3 times negative 1, it becomes a positive 3x. If you times a positive 1 times negative 1, it's a negative 1. And if you times negative 5 times negative 1, you get positive 5. So this is our equation 2, our new equation 2. And let's bring down our old equation. Plus 1y equals negative 16. Well, look. Now if we add these, our y's cancel out because they're opposites, opposite signs. You got a positive one and a negative one. So let's add these functions. So 8x plus 3x, that's 11x. Our y's cancel out as we said. Negative 16 plus 5 would be negative 11. Now we got to solve for x, so we're going to divide by 11. x equals negative 1. Okay, now we got to plug it back in for x. So we got 8 times negative 1 plus 1y equals negative 16. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 plus 1y equals negative 16. We got to get the y term by itself, so we need to add 8 over. 1y equals negative 16 plus 8 would be negative 8. And look, y is solved for. You could divide by 1, but we don't really need to. y just equals negative 8, because 1y is the same as y. So we have our x and our y. So let's plug them in. x goes first, y goes second. And there's your ordered pair. That's the answer. Okay, let's do one final problem. Just like the last one, you'll have a few of these as well, probably two. <clears throat> Again, if you look, our our y's look like they'll cancel, but one they're both positive, so they would add to be 4y. So we need to multiply one of these equations by negative 1 so that we can add these. So if I rewrite equation 2, negative 1 times 8, negative 8x, negative 1 times 2y, negative 2y, negative 1 times 30 is negative 30. Now I'm going to rewrite my equation 1, so 7x plus 2y equals 24. Now look, our y's would cancel if we added these equations, so let's add them. So 7x plus negative 8x, that would be negative 1x. Our y's cancel. 24 plus negative 30, that would get you negative 6. Now we got to solve for x, so divide by negative 1. x equals positive 6. Okay, now we need to plug this back in for x. Now we can plug it into equation 1, 2, or our new equation 2, it doesn't matter. I just like using equation 1, that's fine. Whichever way you want to do it. So we got to plug in 6 for x. So you got 7 times 6 plus 2y equals 24. So 7 times 6 gets you 42 plus 2y equals 24. We got to get our y term by itself, so let's subtract 42 on over <coughs> sorry so we're subtracting 42 on over so that cancels out over here you got 2y equals negative 18 now you guys solve for y so let's divide by 2 y would equal negative 9 so we have our x and our y we got to plug it in so you got a 6, comma, here's our y, which is negative 9, and there's your xy value, okay? So hopefully this video will help you guys 
Um, you should only have four problems, and they're just like the ones that I did in this lesson. Tomorrow will get a little more difficult, so it's important that we stick with today. Now for tomorrow's Zoom, you could bring these questions or tomorrow's questions. Either would be great. All right, so hopefully with that, you guys have a great rest of your